an hour ago and it's not for me it's actually a, a gift for someone um birthday gift which happens to be on christmas day but i still wanted to do a quick video on it before i put it away um this is i'll go ahead and read it off the name off the box and then you let me know if you know what this is before i actually state what the street name is for this shoe the air jordan one retro og golden harvest black sale a.k.a. otherwise known as the Rookie of the Year. Again, I didn't get these from me. I've already looked into this package, and I'm going to tell you something. The pictures don't do this shoe justice. It really don't. So let me just go ahead and get right into it. Like I said, I've already been into it, so we'll go ahead. And, this is how it came. I know stuffed the paper down in it, but this is how it came. We'll go ahead and take these out, and i got to stop I gotta stop doing all these extra videos because honestly, I'm gonna ruin the shoes before he even gets a chance to look at them. And I better hurry up too because I'm losing some of my daylight. So, anyway, y'all, this is Rookie of the Year. Look at that letter. Look at the quality of that letter. Look at that colorway. Look at that. Thumbnail. Alright. Anyway, y'all, look at that beautiful shoe. The quality, and again, the, the uh, pictures just don't do this shoe justice. Let me just go ahead and give you a preview of the entire shoe, and then I'll give you a little big, big background on it as well. So, you have, your, again, your suede harvest color, your black sail, your off-white. That's actually off-white, not pure white. There's the top of the shoe. There's the medial side. Look at that beauty. Woo! Always. This gets me every time when I look at the retro ones. This side profile, this vault, this uh, medial side gets me every time. All right. And then, of course, you have your traditional Air Jordan branding there. You have your black soles. Okay. They come with two laces. A set of black laces. There's your black laces there. And then you also comes with your red laces, obviously. You have a red Nike logo here. I'm trying to figure out what type of material that is right there, but that's pretty nice. And then if you look on the inside, if they went a, they continued on with the harvest theme on the inside with the black Nike Air. And again, I got these for retail. I did not pay resale for these. I, I refuse to do that. But I did get these off of Chic on the day it released. And the funny thing about this release is uh, it was busy that day, obviously. On, on, on drop day, it's usually busy. And when I put them in the cart, I put my all my um, credit card information in. And it just kind of timed out, timed out. And I'm thinking, damn, I didn't get these. So I went back in a couple of more times, kept trying, kept trying. And then I eventually gave up. Then I got an email notification stating that I got them. And I was like, look at this. Look at this. And then I was kind of scared that eventually, you know how sometimes if they over sell, they come back through and cancel a lot of people's orders. So that's what I was afraid of. But the reason why they came up with this colorway which is a beautiful colorway. Look at that leather, y'all. Ah, look at that leather. It's because during uh, Jordan's Rookie of the Year speech, he wore a suit that looked, it was like a golden looking, golden harvest color like this uh, 
colorway here. So that's why they came up with this uh, colorway because of that suit he uh, wore during his Rookie of the Year speech. And I also wanted to point out um, on the insides of the laces, you have his stats on one side and then his comments on the other. Let me just go ahead and read here. 1984 to 1985, Rookie of the Year, 2,313 points, 28 point two points per game okay that's on one side of the flap and then the other side of the flap it just says this award is nice but I just feel wait a minute, this award is nice but I just feel it's very important for each individual to go out and contribute to his team MJ so there's that here okay you see that All right, so that was a nice little touch there. That was definitely a nice little touch there for them to include that on the inside of the flaps. And I haven't seen any reviews, so I don't know if other people have discussed that, but I just really thought these are a nice pickup. And if by chance I do find a size out there for retail, I'll snatch it up. I don't know if I will. I'm definitely not paying $285 or $95 off of StockX. So, did you guys cop any, cop any W's on this one, or did you take an L? Did you take an L? I'm shocked. I've never bought from this supplier, but they got it here actually a couple of days before. It, it was supposed to come Monday, but they actually shipped it Saturday, so I'm really excited about that. It's freaking nice, y'all. Look at the quality of that. I just want y'all to look at the quality of that letter. And again, it's on par to me with the uh, the Air Jordan Retro 1's bread toe. That leather and that off-white right here. It's on par with that. And then that suede. I'm going to stop handling these right now because I don't want to get them dirty. I want to keep them fresh. I'm going to go ahead and put these away for Christmas, birthday. It's actually a birthday gift. Um... I end up taking the other shoes back that I got him and return them. He said he liked them, but he would only wear them like probably on special occasions. There's no point in buying shoes for a kid who only wears them for special occasions. But I end up getting those Tyler Creator Golf LaFleurs, those um, burlap shoes. I thought they were cool, especially only because he's so into the vans right now and they're on par with those. But anyway, uh, what y'all think? Leave your comments below. Are these, a, are these a go or are these a no? You tell me what you think. Until the next time, y'all. Until the next cop. Until the next drop. Peace.